Welcome to Vivian Art's presentation of Places, Species, Bodies, Walking Alberta. It's a wonderful two artist exhibition uh, featuring Sandra Meggs, who is Ontario based, and Alana Bartal, who is from here in Calgary. Alana and Sandra are really interesting mix of artists. There's something about the really considered and intelligent way they work that made me think they'd be a great pairing. The cornerstone piece in the exhibition is a large diptych painting by Sandra Meggs titled Across the Grassland Dead Roads that she painted in 1992 on her first trip to McIntyre Ranch in Alberta's grasslands. This beautiful diptych was in my mind when I did a studio visit with Alana earlier this year. I was in her studio talking to her about her work and across the room, I saw stacked against the wall all of these diptychs that are around me. And I just had one of those eureka moments because I knew this was the right series of work to feature along with Sandra's painting. And I'm really excited that Alana accepted the invitation and is here with us now today. Okay, so A Woman Walking the City Limits um, is a project that I did in 2016 for the Mountain Standard Time Performance Art Festival. And so initially I wasn't thinking about, um, I was thinking of it as a performance. Uh, it was a performance that probably not a lot of people would see. So I, uh, I started um, with a camera, I had a GoPro camera, and I had a, a DSLR camera. I didn't initially have um, a series of photographs or a video or even a map in mind as the resulting works, uh, but that's, that's what came out of, of the project in the, in the end. Aside from the fact that both Sandra's painting and these works are diptychs, they're very connected in other ways as well. They're, they're all landscape pieces but not traditional landscape pieces. All of them were made by Sandra or Alana interacting with the land very directly. For Sandra, she went and sat um, and thought, contemplated, wrote, photographed, drew, and then painted. For Alana, walking was her main media. She walked the city limits of Calgary to the best of her ability. It was broken up by barbed wire fences, private property, roadways, rivers. She had to dodge around and sort of make her way to the best of her ability. And while she did it, she captured with her camera her expedition. She captured what she saw along the way. And to her surprise, the work became very much about our footprint on the landscape, not only about the city limits of Calgary, but how we impact the land around us. When I was initially starting the piece, I wasn't thinking about collecting found objects. You know, it was like finding these kind of cultural artifacts that are just discarded at the edges of the city and just thinking about, you know, what are the stories that these objects are telling about maybe that person, but even, you know, more broadly, Calgary as a city. And so I started thinking about how those uh, diptychs could be created. Um, so a photograph of the landscape and a photograph of the objects. And try to be really thoughtful about um, the pairing of the two images. Presenting the viewer with images of the city that would become a little bit unfamiliar in some way. There's a moment in the video um, where you see a muskrat that is just dips under a fence that has sunk into a pond and that fence was very close to the actual city limits. So just thinking of, about how, how that muskrat, you know, it's like how is that, that boundary maybe doesn't exist for it or it exists in a completely different way. So we have this wonderful landscape diptychs by Alana alongside the paintings of Sandra Meggs for this beautiful exhibition that is really spiritual in a way. And um, I hope people get in to see it it's up until August 30th. It's on our website on a virtual tour. And of course, we have our online store. We hope you'll visit it. Mm -hmm.